share prayer journaling with you. So if you haven't heard what prayer journaling is, you are journaling your prayers. There's no real rules to this, but this is kind of what I do. And I'll just start off by saying that I first heard about prayer journaling maybe a decade or more ago when I was sharing something with my friend and she said, oh, I'll add that to our family prayer journal. And I was like, what's that? So that's how I found out about prayer journaling. And it could be a family thing, it could be a personal thing. This is my own personal one. I just grab any kind of notebook or anything that I can find at the store or around the house. And this is basically how I do it. Two main things. Um, I write P and I just write a P and I circle it, put the date at the top and just write it. I can do like, sometimes I do bullet points, sometimes I can write out an entire story. Usually bullet points are just short notes. And P stands for praise. So anything I want to praise God for. And then R is request. So anything I have a prayer request for. One thing that I try to do is not always say, for example, if I'm struggling with something, I don't want to write the struggle that I'm having, but more of what the outcome that I want. So that my mindset is more on, this is what I want the victory in, instead of like, this is what I'm struggling with. So that's one thing that I do. Okay, so I have um, something to write with and a highlighter. So I'll always highlight the praise and then when he answers the request, then I will highlight that and put a date on it. And then probably also put another praise and write what he did to answer that prayer or jot a little note next to the request that was answered. Now, God doesn't always answer my prayer requests in a yes. So regardless if he says yes, no, or he changes my desire, so I have, I, I don't even want the thing that I requested for. Um, it's still a, a praise. It's still an answer to prayer because no is still an answer. So yeah, I will highlight that and then I can just, you know, either write a praise, what he did answer, or a new request in how, um, in, in something else. And even when I'm writing down my prayer requests, basically I'm telling God, like, these are my desires, but ultimately let your will be done, which I'm trying to say, you get the last call on it. Because maybe him saying no or wait is him working out character flaws in me. Or it's like he's saying, you think you know what's best for yourself, but I got something way better in mind for you. So just hang in there. And yes, I've experienced that many times too. Other things that I've done in my prayer journal are write Bible verses um, or just like thoughts, anything. You're just talking to God. <laughs> and another thing I do with prayer journaling is pray for other people. I mean, how encouraging is it to know that you're being prayed for? And it's so amazing because sometimes um, people will share stuff and I'll say I'll pray for them. And then other times, like, I'll pray for them, but they don't know. And um, sometimes it's really soon and sometimes it could be a while after. But, like, through conversations or, or different circumstances, I see the way that God has been moving in their lives. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Prayer is so powerful. And it's not... It's not anything of me. It's not that there's like power in the prayer journal, but it's that the Holy Spirit is moving upon people's hearts. I mean, you could be miles and miles away. You can be on different continents, and yet the Holy Spirit is moving on their hearts. I find that one of the coolest things about prayer journaling is when I can look back and I see all these highlighted, all these highlights, you know, all the praises, all the answered prayer requests, and and there is, there's a quote that says that we have nothing to fear for the future except that we forget how he's led in our past. So this also can bring confidence. Like, well, he's answered all these prayers before. Well, of course he's going to, you know, help me and guide me in the future, even when times are uncertain and I don't know what to do. I encourage you just grab, find something around your house or go buy something real cheap. But start prayer journaling today because it is amazing. And... To me, it's been life-changing, and I hope that it will help you as well.